What's up everyone? It is Adam from Adam's Awesome Projects here and today in this video this is part two of building Tamiya's US cargo truck and today in this video we're going to be painting and weathering the model too and I'm going to glue on the headlights and the windows of course because I left them off so that way it doesn't accidentally get painted because I want them to stay clear. So like I said, it's my first time doing a truck, and I might have done one before, but like I said, I don't remember. So, it's a really good kit, so let's get started painting and weathering. Welcome everyone to a new special bit. The one and him of Simba, that we Alright guys, so after applying on the shadow coat, we're going to apply on our main color, and that is Tamiya's XF62 Olive Drab, and I lightened it a little bit with Tamiya's XF59 Desert Sand to line it up a little. So anyway, we're going to airbrush that on, so let's begin doing that. Now it's time for me to make some chip paint. What I've got in my hand is a brush that's been dipped in water and I'm just going to scrub onto areas where I think there's going to be chips until I get the desired effect. Okay, so this is how much progress I've made on the truck and the decals look really good. So normally I would apply on a gloss coat before applying the decals. but the model looks so good, I'm not going to do it. So, anyway, I'm going to apply on some microset. And sorry, there's a little bit of paint drop on there. And this is the decal solution. And also, to completely seal them, I'm going to also use micro flat to seal the decals. It's kind of like a matte varnish, but it is a clear finish for models. And it's easy to use. So let's apply on a few coats of micro flat, then we'll come back. All right, so now that we're finished applying on the micro flat, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use Tamiya's XF57 buff. And sorry, there's a little bit of paint on there, but this is gonna be the dust to coat, and we're gonna be about an inch away from the model. And what that's going to do is it's going to dirty it up a little and it'll knock down the shine. So let's get started on applying our dust coat right now. I'm going to add some mud effects now. So what I've got right here is some white glue and what's right over here is powder tile grout. And I'm going to brush on the glue onto the areas where I want to have the mud at. And now I'm going to sprinkle on towel graph. All right guys, so I am back. I worked on this model for about a couple days and it really went together well and the front bags that I added in the previous shot they were a little bit hard to put on because they didn't want to stick however weathering was okay the paint color was okay because the olive drab looked realistic I didn't want to use olive green because it might have looked a little too bright but otherwise this is a really good kit I also like the windows too because you can see through them you can see the driver's seat and I like the guns they included and there's a wheel on the bottom and it looks realistic and it's like the real vehicle itself. Now with that being said guys, this kit is recommended to beginners, intermediates and advanced modelers because the instruction sheet is right on target. What I mean by that guys is that there are no mistakes, they're easy to follow 
and they tell you everything clearly. So this model is really the best and I really like this truck. I might be doing a German one or a British one in another video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well. All right guys, so that is the whole build for the Tamiya US cargo truck and I hope you enjoyed this video so much. Painting and weathering it was really a fun thing. And also guys, I wanna give an important note. So for my next video, I'm going to take a break from doing some models, but I'll still be doing military models. But for my next video, I want to do this 1968 Volkswagen Beetle, and it's going to be really cool, so stay tuned for that video. So, above all, this was a really good kit, though, the cargo truck was, and the windows, they were not bad, and the headlights were easy to put on as well. So, if you really like this video a lot, don't forget to rate, favor, and comment, subscribe, and also don't forget to like and share as well. It is the wonderful Adam's Awesome Projects. See you later, guys. Bye.